So the first piece of information you're going to need to know is the phone's IP address. And you want to make sure that the phone is connected to the same network that your PC or laptop is on as well, and that you can actually browse to that phone's IP address. So we're going to go into the phone status, look at the network status, and we're going to pull up that phone's IP address. It's going to be hard to see on the screen, but I've got the local IPv4 address. That's what we're going to be using to access the admin interface of the phone and start making changes to it and get it registered to our PBX. All right, so I've browsed to the phone's IP address. It's a local address. Our local network here is a 172 address. So that address means, the address I'm using, and you can't even see it because I'm just showing you the actual con the page, not the address bar. That address means nothing to you. You need to find your LAN address for your phone on your network. So make sure you've got that and you have uh, accessed it. All right, now we need the username and the password. And it is admin admin by default for older model Grandstream phones. And so we're not going to save this password and we're going to give it a new password. So uh, once the current, okay, there's the current. Let's give it a new one. And just save that. All right, we're not going to save it in the browser. Perfect. Passwords changed successfully. Okay, so now we're in and we see the account status. And now we can start configuring our phone for our phone system. And you're going to need some phone system information here, um, specifically you know, uh, phone system IP address, extension information, etc. We're going to go out and get that here in a moment. We'll get it from a free PBX. Your information is going to be different than ours, but hopefully you get the gist and the idea of how it works. So we've skipped ahead a little bit, and we're looking at the free PBX now. And what you're going to need from the free PBX is this SIP secret right here and the free PBX ex extension. Uh, you're also going to need the address of your phone system. Now, again, I'm doing this with a free PBX, and you might have an on-premise Mitel phone system. You might have a Cisco phone system. You might be using RingCentral. You know, you're going to need to get your extension and account information from that provider or that system. We're just in here showing you uh, on this specific instance what you would need from the free PBX. So I'm going to need the extension number. Uh, I'm going to need the uh, SIP secret. And then I'm going to need uh, the address of the system itself. And so those are the three key things we're going to need. And then when we go back over to the Grandstream phone, we'll be able to set that up and, and register the phone, hopefully. All right, so we've jumped back over to the Grandstream phone. It's GXP2170. We're just looking at the um, browser interface again. You can see the device supports six different SIP accounts. So you could register this phone uh, theoretically to six different phone systems if you wanted to. Have fun with that. Um, but we're going to jump over to accounts, and we're just going to register account one. And we're going to go to the general settings, give this account a name, and we'll tell the SIP server. We're using our, um, I can type. We're using our uh, demo phone system here. You hackers, go ahead and give it a try. You will get nothing out of it. Um, all right. You even get my user ID, which is just your extension. Okay, if you're using a free PBX, your user ID and your authenticated ID is just your extension. All this information is going to get changed anyway on these systems after this video gets published, so no worries. But uh, here I've got my SIP server, I've got my user ID, and now the authenticate password. So what you're not seeing is on my other screen, I've got that SIP secret, and I'm just going to paste it right into the password. That's way easier than typing it out. SIP passwords should be very long and very strong. Uh, that way, bad people can't gain access to your systems. I'm going to put my name on there right now, just give the account a name, and I could throw the access number in there. That'd be the voicemail dial-in, I think, with free PBX, it's star 98, star 97, it's a star code. Um, again, find this out from your phone system. And if you don't have a phone system, go to accentvoice.com and sign up for one today, and we'll set this whole thing up for you, included as part of the process. So that's really great. Okay, we're going to hit save and apply. And I broke the one cardinal rule of setting up a Grandstream phone. Account active, yes. Save and apply again. Got the phone right next to me. Green light means we're all good. It's really that simple. 
I can make it take calls now. I'm calling my cell phone. You hear it's ringing. So, pretty simple. I already had a phone system set up. That was a big benefit. It's a free PBX. We know how to handle that. I know how to work with that, right? So I grabbed my extension information and I threw it in to uh, the Grandstream phone right here and voila. There's a lot of other customization that can be done. Don't get me wrong. Um, and a lot of times that should come from your cloud provider or your system provider, maybe pushing a provisioning profile. That's certainly the approach we take where you know, we just have to add maybe a string or two into a phone and then we push down all the information from the cloud. Uh, but, you know, if you're just trying to set something up by hand and you're just trying to get down and dirty with a making some phone calls, this is it. This is how easy you can do it. You know, a couple minutes and watching a video and you too can be a telecommunications expert.